Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will run the quality test in the build pipeline using the Azure pipeline. If you remember, we had set up the Azure DevOps organization and we'll have a look at the boats and the task that will be assigned uh, using the Kanban boats that the Azure DevOps organization provides. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and explain you the rest of the things and let's do it. So this is my Azure DevOps and if you would see I have this uh, under boards. If you would go under boards, I have these work items. So we have completed unassigned to do, and let's say I want to create unit unit test, and it it is unassigned. So what I will do is, first of all, let's work with proper DevOps uh, methodology, wherein we assign the work items and then we do the stuff. So what I will do is I will first of all assign this work item to myself or any other guy who would be working on it because it is only me here. I click on save. It has been assigned to me. And I will make sure to drag the create unit test to the doing section. So from this video on, we'll be following the Azure boards, Kanban boards, everything that DevOps process to. Recall that create unit test relates to running unit test using the build so that as a QA engineer, we doesn't have to deal with so many regression bugs when the test out, uh, when we test out the new builds. We are in the boot section. And now I will go back to my Visual Studio code where we left in the last video and uh, the description is bash wonderful it is here it is here okay i have my git set up everything is working fine now i will go to my uh, forked space game web project on the github and i will clone the repository again i have successfully cloned it this is the place where I have forked the, I've cloned the repository. Now what we'll do is, as as an sysops guy, I would have to work with the developer to add the unit test to the automated build uh, that the developer would create. So regression works would creep into the code and would break the leadership board's filter functionality. So what would it does is as a sysops guy as a sysops guy i want to catch the error before it reaches the qa or the tester so by performing the unit testing it is a great way to automatically test for the regression bugs i as a sysops guy i would think that adding the unit test would give them a head start as they would improve the application the application would use a document database to store high uh, the database of the users I would add the number of unit test frameworks uh, which would are available as C sharp applications. Let's say we choose N unit because it's one of the popular with the community. So let me show let I'll show you the unit test how it is configured and that that uh, we would be using. This is the unit test test case test case uh, these are the functions different functions that is how they have uh, defined the unit test here well to work on it what i've done is i have uh, fetched the branch from the github i have used git fetch upstream unit test so what it has done it has fetched the unit test branch from the github and check out or it has switched to that new branch which is called unit test this branch would contain the project that we have been working on in the previous videos as well. Now I will go to the git checkout command to make this branch git checkout, checkout minus p unit test upstream would be unit 
dash test. So what it has done is I will I'm enable I'm it enabled me to get the starter code from the Microsoft GitHub repo known as upstream. Shortly we will push this branch to the GitHub repo and it would be known as origin. Now we'll run the test locally. The same command dot net build dash configuration with the release dot net. I will run the dot net test command to run the dot net test and the unit testing. Let it complete. Make sure that we have run dot net build configuration with the release parameter. We'll run the dot net test command to run the unit test. Dot net test configuration release it will run again perfect the no build flag specifies not to build the project before running it we don't need to build the project because we have built it in the previous step uh, it has passed five tests and the second so please notice that there were five total tests Although we defined just one test method, which was fetch only request came region, that is run five times, one for each came as specified in the test case inline data. We'll have to run the test a second time. This time provide the logger option to write the result to a log file. Dot net test tailspin the name, then the configuration release no build logger trx. So if you see the output, the trx file is created in the test results directory. Uh, it is an XML document that would contain the result of a test run. Now we'll add the task to the pipeline configuration. Uh, we'll again modify the azure.eml file. So if you will take it here, this is the azure.eml file. This is the file path. Let me just copy paste the content and would add the one task, which is .NET Core. Uh, CLI at two tasks which would uh, run the unit test and uh, this would bring the build task into it so let me just make the changes and after adding this file I would add it would commit the file and would push the changes from my branch I will use go here edit terminal get add the changes Get commit with the message which says run and publish unit test. All right, one file changed, nine insertions. I'm going to get push to the origin, get push from the origin which is unit test. It will push the changes and if I would go to my Azure pipeline, I would see it. See, just now it ran and if you would run it, run recently published right now. Stages, it's still running, go to the jobs. It is running it. Job is initialized to the branch. Then it is running the npm install, compile SAS assets, gulp task, write build info. If you remember all the previous videos, you will be able to recall the steps that it has been running. Let it run. And after the build will be completed, we will check the summary tab. We'll see that the test run is included in the progression. Let it run and I'll be back. See, it is running the unit test now starting run unit test release so if you would check this summary you will be able to see that this was run during the and now it is publishing the project after running the unit test test has been passed if you will click on it you will see the result here it is it is finalizing the job here you go and after this pipeline has been ran if you would come under test plans and if you will click on runs, test, these are the test runs that has been ran so far. It shows the completed or come under test plans. 
space game click on it you can see the same thing here how the summary was you can check the summary as well and let's say above all of the five tasks have been passed if any test would have failed we could navigate to the build task to get the additional details we can also download the trx file so that we can examine it through visual studio or another visual studio tool and then we can happily merge our branch into the master after the test has been completed and after that we can also add a testing widget to the dashboard so if you would come under overview in the existing project and if you will edit it and go to here click on dashboards click on edit or add a widget then you can have test results trend or a widget click on it click on add click on let's say you want to keep it here i'll show you the result you can configure the widget as well where do you want to configure it where do you want to place it select the build pipeline here you can keep the rest as default click on save here it is pass percentage is nice for today's date and that's how you add a test result test run visit onto your dashboard in the next video we'll continue with the doing the perform uh, by performing the code coverage testing using the azure pipelines till then have a good day bye bye